In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the final results of my Invisalign story. I am well over a year into the process where I've completely finished it and I'm now in the maintenance phase where I only wear my retainers in the evening. So if you've got any questions on it, um, leave it down in the comment box below. Um, but also if you do want to watch further videos, I have got a playlist um, which will give you just a bit more of an insight in the process and yeah. Um, I have zero regrets. I am so happy with the results of my Invisalign. I've um, I've had so many compliments and I think the best part for me is the fact that my teeth still look quite natural. Okay, so when you initially call up your um, dentist, a lot of them do offer free consultations, which is what I took on. I was very conscious about money. It was just after we got married, so I did have a little bit of debt, so I just wanted to kind of do it in the cheapest way possible. I knew it would be expensive, but it was at the point where I just I just knew I needed to do it. I was so unhappy with my smile and this all derived from my wedding photos. So it's quite sad really that I I look back at those photos and I like, oh, I just wish I had my teeth done before that. Um but it's not really something I thought about before. It was those wedding photos that actually made me think I need to get them done. I'm not really not happy with my teeth. I had the initial appointment, um, dentist was lovely, it was a private dentist and they uh, he had a look at the structure of my mouth and then he came up with a quick plan, um, sort of explained to me the process. I then had a scan of my mouth um, and they put like a device in your mouth and it literally just scans and then he like goes over every tooth that he's missed um, and it comes up on the screen so it's quite fascinating to see it happen. So they show the complete structure of your mouth and then they come up, I think he sends it off um, and then they, it comes up with a plan. So then you go back and you discuss what it's going to look like from the start to the finish. They do it in like a week. So on the scan, you can see what it looks like weekly. Here's the scan. This is the before shot. My two front teeth are clearly quite crossed over. Those numbers there, the three and the five, I believe they represent the IPR. So where the shaving is going to be. And it's either going to be millimetres or weeks. I'm not exactly sure what those numbers represent. The This shows the before and after. You can see on the left side of my mouth, I've still got a wisdom tooth that's sticking out. He just left that out of the retainers. And you can also tell, I'll speak later about how my teeth need shaving. And you can tell on this video, it doesn't actually show you what like the perfect teeth, it's just what the Invisalign retainers will do. The bottom teeth as well, they were very crooked and crossed over and I really, I think I was mainly surprised at how much it widened my jaw. That was the main thing that sort of um, shocked me with the, with the process and I realised that my bite could be a lot better. You'll then agree on a payment plan. Uh, so I was very, I was in the stage of my life where I really wanted to pay off the debt, any debt that I had. So I did, I went into my savings and I paid all off in full. Um, but they, most dentists do offer a payment plan where you can pay as you go or you pay, I think you don't have to pay for a year and then you pay or that, they will be different. And the prices will all be different. So I've recommended three people from my work um, to the same dentist and all the prices are different so whether it's because of the different structure of the mouth and the work that's going to be needed or if it's because the pandemic came in and, and prices have had to go up and just the natural inflation what i pay doesn't necessarily mean it's what you pay as well so the next stage is i think you have to wait i feel like four weeks or something so this gets sent to america but that's where they make the retainers and then they send it to your dentist and he'll call you in um, he will fit your first retainers in, and this is the most uncomfortable thing ever. Your saliva just like overproduces because it's got this foreign thing in its mouth, and it's very, it's quite uncomfortable for the first day, and it's tight. Um, well, the next day it's really tight and really uncomfortable when you wake up. Um, you do get used to it quickly, and yeah, as long as you maintain them, look after them well, brush them, and brush your teeth and floss your teeth. Um, yeah, it's it's fine, and um, but. When you get given your retainer, you get given a nice little bag and inside that bag you've got the box and inside the box you've got, I think they give you two or three retainers to start with. The first one you'll wear for two weeks, which is a little bit grim, um, and then you'll swap over and you'll start doing them weekly. So, so once a week you'll, you'll change them. And also inside the box you get given 
um, in Invisalign case. Mm, I don't know if you can see, but it looks like that. And yeah, it's just somewhere to put your retainers if you have to take them out to eat. And my initial one was black. This is my third case. And every time you get new retainers, they give you new new case as well. So, which comes in handy because I think I've lost the black one. Okay, inside that box as well, you'll also have a small sachet of cleaning crystals. These cleaning crystals don't last long. They don't last five minutes. Um, but a very good idea to get some cleaning crystals of your own. I ended up getting some um, denture palette, uh, pellets. So it looks like a little round tablet that you put in the water, dissolves and takes all the mac off it. Bear in mind, you only have those retainers in for one week. So it's not the end of the world. Um, you don't need to deep clean them regularly as long as you like, give them a quick brush. That's probably all you need. So after a few weeks, you'll then go back and you will start your IPR. Um, this is where they shave. So in the initial plan and in the initial scan, they already look at where the, the shaving is going to be needed. So your dentist is already prepared and you're already re prepared for the fact that you're going to need what they call IPR. And yeah, so they literally just sandpaper your teeth down. Um, something to bear in mind as well, at the end of the, the process or towards the end of the process, so I had 14 retainers initially, I realised that the way that my teeth moved, they were really wonky at the bottom, which you'll see in the scan video. So I requested that he, while he was doing the IPR, if he could just file them straight. So he's filed those down there um just to straighten them off the other thing is my canines were really sharp and they were digging into my my bottom teeth and i just asked that he sort of blunts blunts them down a little bit and um, i was very conscious that i still wanted my teeth to look as natural and as close to my own teeth as possible uh, i needed a veneer so this is something that's not in the payment plan you do have to pay extra for anything like this uh, you could either go for bonding which is a fair bit cheaper or i went for a veneer which i knew would last longer and the tooth the incisor, which is these little teeth here, were particularly small. And I just thought instead of having bonding, which I'm gonna have to replace every three years or whatever it is, I'd rather get something that's gonna last me a lot longer um, and feel more secure. I have no regrets. I have seen people that have had bonding and it looks very, very good. Um, so I'm not opposed to it. Um, and I probably would consider it if I needed it in the future. Um, but yeah, so that is the end of my Invisalign journey. I'm very happy with the results. I get plenty of compliments. I recommend so many people to do the same. And if you, you know, if you've got any doubts, if you do have any conscious feelings about your teeth, then it's it's a really good option to go for. So let me know if you've got any thoughts on doing Invisalign yourself. If you have any questions about the process, just drop them down in the comment box below. Um, I, I can help you as much as I can. Um, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward and. Yeah, I, I think I mainly I just wanted to send a video out there to say like do it, do it. If you want to do it, then one hundred percent recommend it. Um, yeah, and but one more one thing you do need to remember is you need to commit to it because I've got one of those people that I recommended. She's she's just terrible at showing up for appointments, and it just makes the process go on forever. Um, so commit to it, do it properly, and yeah, you won't you won't you won't regret it for sure. And when the time comes that you don't need to wear them every day and it is only at night, it's so easy, it's so simple. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, if there's any help to you at all, and I will hopefully see you in my next video.